There is some really hard places to play in the NFL. What's everybody? Good morning. It is Monday. Yes, um, it is Monday morning. Oh yeah, um, I'll be uploading videos in the morning instead of the afternoon. So, so it'll be ready to watch that day. So, so that means I'm recording this on Sunday. So, so the video you watch, I recorded it the day after, and then you know the date. No, the, the the day before. I can't go ahead in time. That's stupid. I can't go ahead in time. But, yeah, so, so the videos that you're going to see is the recordings of yesterday. Of the, it's too, it's confusing, okay. So, anyways, yeah, so just, just for you to know, I'm uploading videos in the mornings. I might upload some videos in the afternoon just to put uh, something up. But most of them are going to be early in the morning, around 6 o'clock in the morning, maybe. So, oh, yeah, um, today, I'm going to do top five NFL stadiums to play in that's hard to play in like really it's hard. I'm gonna tell you why it's gonna be really interesting so Yeah, so number one on the list there it, there's more but I'm just doing the top five stadiums No, I'm gonna do the top five stadiums. That's hard top five Okay, Lambeau Field Green Bay Packers because, you know, it's hard because freezing temperatures and snow make it tough for anyone to play in. Think about it. If it's hard for you to run in snow, just playing around, think how these people with shoulder pads on, friggin' things on, all that stuff, helmets on, running in snow and all that stuff, that's got to be tough. And number two on the list is Heinz Field, Pittsburgh Steelers. The grass makes it hard to play on as well. The weather and fans are intimidating. That means like they're like booing the other team and all that stuff. And they're just loud. They're like really, really loud. So, and my hometown, my hometown, the Atlanta Falcons, the Georgia Dome, which it won't be a, in 2017, it won't be the Georgia Dome anymore. It'll be a new stadium, sadly enough. But the Georgia Dome, a dome which keeps the noise in and has, reach, it has reached 117 DB of noise. That is loud. And I don't know if you heard, heard on the news. For the past two years, the Falcons had had artificial noise to make the stadium louder. So, And they got fined for that. They they lost a draft pick in the draft. And speaking about the draft, it's at the end of this month. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for your favorite player on some team, you know. Yes, yeah, so... Number four, Lincoln Financial Field, Philadelphia Eagles. Nasty weather and just as nasty fans that let you hear it. It's on up there with the Steelers because the Steelers make noise, but the Eagles, the weather in Philadelphia is rough. Over there, it's raining, snow, whatever it is there. Yeah, so that's got to be hard, like the weather, especially the fans, like the fans. Not the fans that you blow to get cool off, but the fans like your favorite team, you know. And also, um, Lucas Oil Stadium, Indianapolis Colts. The RCA state, dang, the RCA Dome was up there, but a new stadium, if only three years, this is too young. So, I guess it has the noise level. I guess the noise level is up high with, like, the Georgia Dome, because it's like a dome too, but... Usually indoors is kind of louder because the noise stays in. It doesn't travel outside. So it usually stays indoors. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. um, um, Yeah. That's all I got. That's all I got for you. Um, Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said in my past videos, my my favorite guy that I did, he's returning. And here's, spe here's another clip for you to see I'm gonna do it next week next week um not this complete next week he's gonna make his new appearance you probably know who it is once you see him I did a series with him before 
and you have to guess who it is. I did a lot of characters, but not really, but yeah, so, um, so here he is right now, and that'll be the end of the video, so thank you, please subscribe, and, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, um, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm gonna do a video of why I do these kind of videos, why they inspire me. There is a group on YouTube, they they didn't tell me to do it, I wish they did, but they didn't tell me to do it, but you probably know who they are, I'll tell you tomorrow, or when whenever the next time I make a video, so stay tuned for them, well stay tuned for that, and um, the guys that I watch, they inspired me to do this, and that's why I do these top five Top five nasty things, top five stuff, but I don't do it as good as they do, but I do it as good as I do as a single person, you know? Yeah, so here is that guy that I'm doing. That sounded gay in so many levels. Just for, I'm not doing a guy. No, that's disgusting. That is gay. Um, So there is no guy in here for all I know. So anyways, yes, yeah, so, um, so he's about to be up right now, and um, yeah. So...